games. Kung sino pong manalo dito, they will advance to the semifinals na lalaroin pagkatapos nitong laro na to immediately, Coach Darren. Tama ka dyan, and thank you for correcting that. You know, pero ito kasing dalawang opponent na to talagang uh, it's a technical issues yung nangyari sa kanila during the elimination game. To be specific, yung uniform. Mm -hmm. You know, the Doc Boleros during that time is not aware about the uh, uniform color if they are home or away color, dark or light. So, hindi nagkaintindihan. There's a somewhat miscommunication between them and the management. But, syempre, if it's really specific on the conversation, if it's written on what you need to use, yun yung dapat natin gamitin. And because of that, Quezon City Ignite is a winner there by default. Mm -hmm. So, although technically, mm -hmm. nagkatapat na sila, no, Coach, dahil itong dalawang team na to, they never played each other. So, it's a 4-2 score now with almost four minutes gone in our first and opening quarter. Quezon City Ignite is up by a tiny margin here after Tino ran that break. Offensive board here for Doc Boleros. He fires the three. Home run. That's the first three-pointer for the game and for Doc Boleros. Tama ka dyan. Ang ganda nung tira doon ni number two, Balangit. Now, if you are a lefty shooter, it really reminds me of Alan Kedik. <laughs> the trigger man. Pag nakakita talaga ako ng left-hand shooter, siya yung unang-una ko naiisip. And a traveling violation there. Nabasa yung... Dipsy do layup sana doon ilaw and seems like there's a ceasefire on the side of Ignite Quezon City. We'll be right back after the timeout. Sumabay, dumakda, tumalon, di na ko, tumitres, tumilay up Nang hindi ka post, mga moves, napanghoops, ang lupet, smooth as smooth Pasok sa galawang paliga na ikaw ang bida Velvet nilig, basketball, illegal, legal, legal, legal 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 Ha! Bawal dito ang mahina Dapat lagi kang kumpiyansa kapag tumitira Maging panalo ka dahil lalaro sa liga, di ka papapagawa And we are back in the ball game. Right after that timeout, it's five to four. Right after that three-pointer from number two of Doc Boleros. An offensive war there for Medina. Number 14, back up to Medina. Corner three is right on target. An eye for an eye there, Coach Darrow. That man, that they can really try to bounce back. Bawi ka agad sa offense kapag ka naiskuran ka. And that's a back-to-back -back traveling violation dito para sa Doc Boleros. Actually, that's the usual turnover cost kapag ka ganitong age group. Yung traveling violation on the first step. Kasi yung mga players on this level, they don't have a control yet on their uh, foot speed. They tend to... Uh, step right away or quick two-step before they dribble so it results to so a turnover right away and look at the hustle of these teams you know what one thing i'm worried about coach darrell dito is yung fatigue factor ng teams no either way na sino manala sa kanila they'll have to play another game right after this coach darrell but still, at this uh, young age, yung fatigue mm -hmm. factor, maaaramdaman na lang ng mga bata yan. Pagdating ng hapon or pag, <laughs> before they go to sleep. But if the adrenaline is high, hindi pa nila mararamdaman yan. You know, I've been to this kind of uh, scenarios that I'm playing multiple games in a day, you know, at a very young age. And hindi ko masyado talaga iniinda noon. But now, <laughs> even one quarter, I can even finish. <laughs> Sa ganitong age group, no, Coach Darrell, ng ganito pa yung edara natin. But meanwhile, there's an end one play by Ortega. 
And as you can see there on that play, Ortega absorbs the contact first. At ibinaba niya ng konti yung bola to protect that against his opponent. And then he puts it back for an end one opportunity. Great body control, great move for this young man, Ortega. That's actually a really tough shot there. He was forced to take that shot on an angle plus the contact, Coach Darrell. Tama ka dyan. And uh, he finished it using his right hand. This player is a lefty. So, nasa, hindi siya, wala siya dun sa comfort zone niya, but he was able to convert that beautiful end one play. Lau gives it to the right wing. Binigay naman sa kanto. Mahagawa ng bola. Here comes Ignite once again on the run here. Muntik matapik. Gives it to Ortega. Fakes the three. He takes the three. Off the board. The bank is open on a Sunday, Coach Darrell. Justin, mainit ang umpisa na si Ortega. And one opportunity and a three-point shot naman. Six points kagad in less than a minute. Ang ganda ng tinatakbo ng bata na to. Teardrop is greatly bothered by the defense. Somebody's ahead. Number 21 took that shot on a rush. Won't even hit the rim. We have three minutes and ten seconds remaining on our first and primary quarter. Lau kicks it out. Right wing three-pointer. Hits nothing but the back iron. Here comes Quezon City Ignite. Ortega. The ball was stopped by Balange. Nice defensive stop there. Yeah, we are talking about the defense versus offense so far. It's, it's the offense of the Ignite Quezon City really prevailing here in the first period. You know, Doc Boleros medyo off-tempo pa ang kanilang offense dito. Here comes Ortega once again. Ortega attacking down the middle. He's fouled downstairs. And so far, it's really evident here in this game that Ortega wants to take over here at the first period. Most of the possession coming from the Ignite Quezon City, nagsisimula kayo Ortega. Pero Coach Darrell, we must take note, no? In the previous games, itong Doc Boleros is a well-known slow starter talaga. Tama ka dyan, because they are more focused on the defense. Their defense will result to their good offense. Dun sila namumuhunan. But so far, hindi pa na click click even their mm. defense. So the offensive flow even is not going on their side yet. But we are, you know, we know this person, Coach um, Carlo Pacheco. He's a known strategist. Magagawa siya ng way dyan for him to ignite his team. At ibalik sa focus. And that's a three pointer on target for number 23. That's Pasqual. Pawi na yung tres dito ng Quezon City Ignite. But Cruzid, let me hand it back at you. Another three-pointer for Ignite Quezon City. And here this first period, hinahanap kagad ng Ignite Quezon City. Yung outside shooting nila, they are trying to spread the floor para lumuwag. Yung zone defense nitong Doc Bolero. Great strategy for the whole Ignite Quezon City squad. And Lau will... Take up a foul there. Bit of an unnecessary movement there from Lano. Ginamit niya yung hips niya to block the offensive player there. Tama ka dyan. And it's a hard fall ang na-experience dito uh, nitong sa Ignite Quezon City. And his that's Ooh. Medina who's He's limping, limping out. He's walking towards the bench. Mukhang uh, I will assume uh, patapilok yung landing niya probably yeah. Coach Darrell if you're going to look at him now he is holding on his left uh, uh, ankle yun yung iniinda niya and good thing we have our medics always ready yan naman yung maganda dito sa Velvet d mm -hmm. we are we always have our uh, medical personnel who is ready to attend our uh, players because I remember back in the day when we were playing in the province kahit anong mangyari Papagpag mulan, you will be back on the playing court. Yellow at ice too big, Coach Daryl. <laughs> and we are really fighting to that. Para dun sa sa pat na yon. Para lang sa piso na ice too big, Coach Daryl. Uuwi kang puro galos ang katawan. <laughs> <laughs> but those were the fun days, fun memories that we have. Nasa core memory ko na yon. Di ko na makalimutan. And I will even share that to my kids. 
Oh, Coach, uh, that, those are the moments na masasabi mo na that you're playing basketball not because of the, the benefits that you'll get for it, essentially. You're playing basketball because you love playing basketball. And that's why these kids who's playing in front of us now, is they're really privileged to have this kind of avenue for them to showcase their talent. Kaya dun sa mga gustong sumali dito, just send us a message here in the Velvet D-League page and our admin officer is always ready to accommodate your inquiries. Exactly, no, Coach Darrell. Bukas na bukas ang pintuan ng Velvet D-League but there's less than a minute remaining in this quarter at nagkiklik na yung defense ang sinasabi mo from Doc Boleros, Coach Darrell. Dalawang puntos na lang ang lamang ng Ignite Quezon City. Yan ang magandang ginagawa talaga dito ng, ng uh, Doc Boleros. However, a foul will be called against them. Medyo napahigpit naman yung pressure nila on the half court. Coach Darryl, pangalaw, pangalawang foul na ni Lau yun. And that's a, that's a big hit for Doc Boleros. Their primary ball handler is already on foul travel early on the first. Yeah, usually Lau plays, what, uh, 25 to 30 or 25 minutes per, per game uh, as per our documentation. So someone needs to step up for Lau or he mag, mag tone down a bit siya in terms of the uh, defense. Huwag siyang sundot ng sundot. Probably just stay in front of his defender. And Lau will stay on the floor. With 45.1 seconds, looks like Tok Boleros is risking Lau getting his third foul, Coach Darrell. You know, as a coach, there are times that you need to take a risk as well. There are times that you don't want to change the tempo or the chemistry of your team on the floor. So even though your players is in a foul trouble, ti magtitiwala ka sa kanya. You know, to be more composed para lang hindi masira yung flow ng game nyo. Lau overcooks the teardrop and misses the three. Gets his own miss. Lau, no look pass. Bit of a poor shot selection on that one, Coach Daryl, as they will turn the ball over. But I love the passing of Doc Boleros on that sequence. Kung nakita mo, Lau tries to dribble and find a uh, uh, teammate on the baseline. Hindi lang talaga na, na convert yung tira doon, pero ang ganda ng ball movement nila at execution on that play. Seems like a penalty situation here. So the big man of Quezon City is on the free throw line. That's Manikus, if I'm not mistaken. That's Manikis. Manikis, sorry, rather, Manikis. So Manikis, if you're going to look at him, he is the tallest player that we have now on the floor. Ang laki na itong bata. I think he's even taller than me at what? At a very young age. Sana ganyan din tayo kalaki nung araw. It's six seconds remaining. For three, and they will close the curtains of the first quarter with a three-pointer and in rhythm. Though they're still trailing, Doc Bolero 17 to ignite 18. We'll be right back at second quarter. And I welcome you back to the second quarter of play here. It's a closely contested matchup, Coach Darrell, between Ignite and Ignite Quezon City and Doc Boleros. Well, in fact, it's just a one-point game at the moment, 18 to 17. But Coach Darrell, what, what transpired in the first quarter? How this? How did these two teams that are meeting for the first time adjusted to one another? 
first of all, Quezon City Ignite, nagkaroon sila ng magandang run at the first part of our first period. Yung offense sila clicks right away, three-point shooting, like, um, uh, they have multiple three-point shots coming from their Medina, and also Maniquez is really w defending well the paint. On the other end, for Doc Boleros at the latter part of the first period, doon na. Nag-click yung sinasabi nating mahigpit na depensa ng Doc Boleros. Yung half-court trapping defense sila became effective at the latter end of the court. Sabi natin, hindi sila, uh, they, they are usually having a cold start. But this time, maaga pa, uh, kalahati ng, sec ng first period, nakuha ka agad nila yung groove nila. And they are now firing all the cylinders in a proper timing. And look at that play, Coach Daryl. Yun ang tinatawag nating Nako play in the Filipino basketball dictionary. Mm. It's a quick play actually yung ginawa nila doon. Ang ganda ng execution nila. If you are going to write that on the uh, drawing board, perfectly executed na mga players yun. Here comes Doc Boleros once again. They're taking the lead here with 21 to 18. Can they expand it to 5? Will roll out. Battle for the rebound. Ends up in the hands of Doc Boleros once again. Offensive rebounding is on the side of Doc Boleros on this one at the moment, Coach Darrow. You know, Doc Boleros is also not only good in defense, and the floor defense, they are even good in rebounding. Kahit hindi sila ganung atangaran, they are doing gang rebound. Uh, a lot of players will be on the uh, paint just to gang up on that rebound at nagkakaroon lang sila ng isang player to leak out or to defend the transition offense of the other team. Alam mo, Coach Daryl, nung bata ako, may pinakikinggan akong magaling na basketball player. Sabi niya, he, he controls the rebound, controls the game. Baka kilala mo kulay red ang buhok, Coach Daryl. Yeah, that's a fictional character. <laughs> <laughs> Idol naman nating lahat yung, ba yung, yung uh, cartoon character na yun sa anime character. Pero, syempre, ganda nung mentality na yun. Kaya tuloy lahat tayo naging aggressive sa pagkuha ng rebound. Gigil kung gigil ang uh, labanan pagdating sa Riva, no? Of course, it is well lived out by one of my favorite players in Philippine basketball, no? Uh, Mark Pingris, Coach Taka. Well, he is a undersized forward, but dun sa aggressive this time. Yung puso niya para sa pagkuha ng rebound na yan, and to hold on on his ground against a bigger defender. Ang ganda ng ginagawa ni Mark Pingris na yun, but look at that play. It's a hard bump that was made on that possession that's Espiritu with a foul. Alam mo, Coach Darrell, Espiritu was in a good, a good position. Ito magilid lang. Tama. Kaya natawagan ng foul. Pero nakita mo naman yung toughness ni Espiritu dun sa gitna na yun. It could have been a great defense kung nag, uh, hands up lang siya, mm. raising up his two hands and hold on his ground para lang hindi makadaan yung, o, yung opponent niya. It will be a great positioning sana. Hindi niya na kailangan i-absorb yung contact ng patagilid because it will be an automatic personal foul against him. And the ball will stay with Ignite Quezon City after that fumble with the ball. Ortega is back now on the floor for Ignite Quezon City. Look at the relentless defense here of Tok Boleros, not even letting itong Ignite Quezon City to inbound the ball, let alone make a play. Look at that, another, another stop on the inbound play. Here comes Doc Boleros, number 10 all the way to the basket, can't get it to go, another offensive board, but that ball will be stolen away. Here comes the break. Another steal here by Doc Boleros. They are trading turnovers as we speak. And they are forcing a lot of turnovers against Ignite Quezon City. Yun yung kailangan iwasan dito na Ignite Quezon City. Probably magpasok sila ng dalawa pang ball handler to take, the, to take, care, take care of the ball pretty much better. Kesa yung nangyayari na madami silang turnover. And we know Doc Boleros. Uh, their points of turnovers is really high on this season. So, hindi ka dapat magkocommit ng madami turnover against this team. And his spirit was rejected on his first start, Coach Daryl. And then he said, I will come back knocking on your door. Gets an end one play. And I want to give credit also to Villano on giving out that 
beautiful fat pass to a cutting um, Espiritu at the paint. Nakita niya si Espiritu, hindi pa dumarating sa paint, yung pasa parating na. So it really uh, lands on the hands of Espiritu in a perfect timing. And that's another steal for Doc Boleros. Ignite Quezon City is just producing turnovers left and right here. May it be a steal or uh, unforced turnover like traveling violation or half-court violation earlier in the quarter. You know, they are really struggling to bring down the basketball. Naakarating sila sa half-court line pero yung trapping defense nung ig na Doc Bolero starts pagpasok na pagpasok ng ball handler dun sa half-court line. So yun yung kailangan nilang iwasan dito. If I am the coach of the Ignite Quezon City, I will put someone in the safety zone. Probably some uh, a big man that will stand at the high post para ma-dish out na ng bola ng aking ball handler at makapag-execute na ako ng play from that point. And here comes the three-pointer. It's nothing but the back iron. Coach Daryl, a timeout is probably a good idea here for Ignite at the moment. Yeah, it, it's a great timing to call a timeout now. However, there are times as a coach that you will let your players to think on their own. Yung ahaya mo sila to, to gain, uh, to understand on their own kung ano yung kailangan gawin. Remember, this is a developmental league. We are developing here not only the skills of the player, but even their mentality. Kung paano mo tamang mag isip as a player. Uh, put them on a situation that is really difficult for a player na makakapag-isip sila ng way to how to get out on that situation on their own. And at the moment, Coach Daryl, that's the second foul of Espiritu and that puts him into foul trouble as well. Kasama ni Lau, no? Another foul here would uh, bring up his dali to three, which is not good kasi uh, there's still two quarters remaining after this one and... As we all know, third and fourth quarter is probably more intense when it comes to the level of gameplay and defensive tactics and offensive tactics and whatnot. But Doc Boleros is also known for a team na may malalim na bench. So may mahuhugot at mahuhugot si Coach Carlo Pacheco sa bench niya to back up his uh, players on the floor. Ito na, they're converting all defense into offense as we speak here. Hesitated there for Molayo. You know, maganda sana yung um, tiran or position ni Molato on that shot. Nag-hesitate lang siya. No? Kung itinira niya agad yun, there is a higher chance na pumasok yung jumper niya. And the Espiritu is just outclassing everybody in that painted area, Coach Daryl. He's doing everything in his own will. You know, as a 15-year-old player with this kind of body na unlap, or 13-year-old player na unlapad, and uh, he's really tall for, for a 13-year-old kid. So, advantage niya agad yun sa paint. And I think that'll be, yes, it'll be on Cruz. That's a loose ball foul whistled on him. So both teams are now in the penalty here, just in 4 minutes and 41 pa. Man, mahaba-haba pa ito. Madami tayong free throw na makikita rito in this quarter. As you said kanina, no, Coach Daryl, this is the, the downside, the con of having a very intense defense. No? Uh, you're really, that's really a trade-off. Nahihirapan yung kalaban mo na to penetrate the defense, but it also increases the risk of getting fouls. You know, a lot of times naman, Justin, if you are playing on the playoffs already, medyo nagiging uh, matakaw na sa foul yung both teams because they are trying to play a more intense defense and they are trying to bump and really uh, pahirapan yung offensive player. No easy basket for anyone. And Ignite Quezon City is a dear frozen in its tracks they just can't find an opening and finally a timeout has been called here by ignite quezon city to relieve some stress away we'll be right back after a short break Sumabay, dumakda, tumalon, dinako, tumitres, tumilay up Nang hindi ka po 
Pops Mga moves na pang hoops Ang lupet, smooth as smooth Pasok sa galawang paliga Na ikaw ang bida Velvet nilig basketball Illegal, legal, legal, legal 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 Ha! Bawal dito ang mahina Dapat lagi kang kumpiyansa kapag tumitira Maging panalo ka dahil lalaro sa liga Di ka papagulang kahit pa napakalakas nila Ipakita mo ang tunay na galing Na di ka pwede dapat na maliitin Kung usapan ay laro dapat halimaw Sintaas ng bola pag hinagis ka kasilaw Tignan mong maigi ang iyong paligid Baka may umagaw, pasa mo sa gilid Titira ng tres, walang sasabay Babaan lahat, matikto walang sablay Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Sumabay, tumakda, tumalon, kinabuhay Coach Daryl, off of the timeout, I just want to ask you, what just happened? We started this quarter at 18-17 uh, in favor of the Ignite. That means Doc Boleros has produced 22 points, Coach Daryl, in the past, what, six minutes of play. And the reason of that is their trapping defense. Ang ganda ng trapping defense ng Doc Boleros. And what, like what we always say for them, yung good defense sila will result to them for a better offense. And they are not wasting any opportunity kapag nag-commit ng turnover to Ignite Quezon City. Their front court is or backcourt players are always ready to run and gun if there is a steal or a uh, mistake that's been committed by the Ignite Quezon City. Kaya naman ang laki kagad nung naging run ng Doc Boleros on this second period. And that's another end one opportunity and that will extend the lead now to 21 Coach Dell and with a chance to extend it to even 22 after this free throw. You know, they are not yet done doing the damage on the inside. They're not really known team na tumitira from the outside. Most of their um, offense is really coming from uh, the setup plays on the paint or a transition offense. And the ball will go to Ignite Quezon City. Mokasi Espirito on last touch noon. They couldn't convert on that three-point opportunity. Coach Daryl, look at this defense. Just suffocating the ball handler of Ignite Quezon City. Just couldn't deliver an offensive board. And look at that. Coach Daryl, so, so transition sequence na yun. Dalawa yung defender from Ignite Quezon City. Pero tatlo yung nasa offensive end para sa Doc Boleros. And look, another transition play. Easy two points again. Yeah, transition offense ang nagiging buhay dito ng Doc Boleros. Ulit-ulit natin sinasabi, that is because of their trapping defense. But another good thing na, ma na ginagawa dito ng Doc Boleros is their trailers. Uh, everyone is running down on the offense kahit na nakapagta-transition offense sila. The reason, they want to have a help offense. Probably trailer from the left kung sakaling kailangan mag-kick out and there is a better way or easier way to score pag mas madami kayo against your defender. Alam mo, Coach Darrell, they really need a good ball hander para dito sa Ignite Quezon City. Somebody who is composed enough to, to go through that trap. And look at that play. Isang knockout play na naman yung dinisenyo dito ng Doc Boleros. Easy two points again. And that's the second time that they did that kind of play. Probably it's really part of their playbook. Yung ganong klaseng offense or baseline um, inbound for them. So another chance here, Justin, for the Doc Boleros to increase their lead. Coach Daryl, we're approaching the final two minutes of our first half, no? Para sa larong to. And what I'm seeing here is a bit grim for Ignite Quezon City. They've only scored two points, Coach Daryl, this quarter. They started with 18 points and they're just at 20 with only a minute and 53 seconds remaining. Oh, this team needs to wake up in here. Talagang nothing is uh, on their side here at the second period. 
But you can see here that they are really diving for that ball and Maniquez really wants to get that possession back for Ignite Quezon City. Great mindset for this kid. Ang ganda ng hassle niya dun. That's what you want to see, you know, big man hustling on the floor, trying to grab those rebounds as much as he can. Lalo na, kailangan ng spark plug dito ng Ignite Quezon City. They're down by 31 here. Here comes Ortega. He's been the bright spot for Quezon City early in this ballgame. The offense, nice screen by Maniki. Still couldn't get that bounce. Ortega ends the drought. And that is the four points. That's the fourth point of uh, Ignite Quezon City in this quarter alone. Ganun. Kahigpit talaga ang ginagawa dito. But on the other end, Doc Boleros, you score two, I'll score three, said by Avila. That should hurt, Coach Darren. You just, you're just trying to get your morale back. And then somehow, some way, a three-pointer has been scored. And then a turnover right afterwards. Ignite Quezon City is really out of rhythm at the moment. And they need somebody to step up and bring some... Some cohesion in this unit, Coach Darrell. Imagine they are always doing long passes, uh, but ang downside naman dun, mas mata, mas maraming time etong Doc Boleros to insert, intercept those long passes. But on the other end, Me, uh, Mejia again scoring for another three-point shot. Coach Darrell, Doc Boleros have scored 40 points in this quarter alone. No, earlier I'm about to say this is still within the striking distance before the second quarter starts. Pero ngayon, ang laki na nung itinambak dito mm -hmm. ng Doc Boleros. It's a um, hill or even mountain to climb for the Ignite Quezon City for them to get back on this game. Pero may oras pa naman sila. Okay. Everything is possible here in basketball. If uh, Doc Boleros can do some runs on their own, Ignite Quezon City can also do that. And this is a known team na nakabalik na sa ganitong kalasing kalamangan. Iga nga, Coach Darrell. Kung Gilas nakabalik sa 22-point lead ng China at napauwi natin ang host country ng Asian Games, why not itong Ignite Quezon City? They just need a good run in the third quarter. Hindi naman kailangan lumamang agad, no? We rarely see that kind of stuff na nagsagutan ng good at bad quarters at ng dalawang team. And there's four seconds remaining, a traveling violation on the side of Doc Boleros. There's a lot more to discuss and we're looking forward for a miracle of a ball game here, Coach Darren. This will be a great opportunity for Ignite Quezon City to get the momentum if they convert here. However, it results a turnover. And oh my goodness, look at that, it went in, but that won't count. At the end of the second quarter, it's 57-22 in favor now of Doc Boleros. We'll be right back for the third frame. Sumabay, dumakda, tumalon, di na ko Tumitres, tumilay up Nang hindi ka post Mga moves na pang hoops Ang lupet, smooth as smooth Pasok sa galawang paligan na ikaw ang bida Velvet nilig, basketball, illegal, 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 illegal Velvet nilig, basketball, illegal, 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 illegal Velvet nilig, basketball, illegal, 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 illegal Velvet nilig, basketball, illegal, illegal, illegal Basketball in Liga, 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 Liga Ha! Bawal dito ang mahina Dapat lagi kang kumpiyansa kapag tumitira 
Maging panalo ka dala laro sa liga Di ka papagulang kahit pa napakalakas nila Ipakita mo ang tunay na galing Na di ka pwede dapat na maliitin Kung usapan ay laro dapat halimaw Sintaas ng bola pag ginagis ka kasilaw Tignan mong maigi ang iyong paligid Baka may umagaw, pasa mo sa gilid Titira ng tres, walang sasabay Baba ang lahat, matik to walang sablay Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Sumabay, tumakda, tumalon, di na ko Tumitres, tumilay up, nang hindi ka post Mga moves na pang hoops, ang lupet, smooth as smooth Pasok sa galawang paligan na ikaw ang bida Velvet nilig, basketball, illegal, 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 illegal Velvet nilig, basketball, illegal, 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 illegal Velvet nilig, basketball, illegal, illegal, illegal Sa laro, di lang puro atake Dapat meron kang discard Ay di pwedeng makasarili Galawang malapro Jason Williams kung pumasa Double crossover na parang Iverson gumana Iwan ang babantay sa'yo Fake sabay rekta Quick release ang banat Parang sa Perry tumira Huwag nga lang pakumpiyansa Sa laro bilog ang bola Manalo sa laban Yan din gusto nilang makuha Ipasa ang bola Kapag hindi mo na kaya Buong loob kang magtiwala Sa iyong mga kasama Iwasan ang turnover Tanggalin ang iyong kaba Natural lang na mapres pag dinobol team ka na Sa mga play na ginawa ni coach Tayo ay mag-focus na rin lang mga kalaban Na parang na modo sa ito ay nalang dikdikan to Coast to coast Kapag gumana to champion tayo Tayo ang magtutoast Sumabay, gumakda, tumalon, di na ko Tumitres, tumilay up Nang hindi ka post Mga moves na pang hoops Ang lupet, smooth as smooth Pasok sa galawang paligan na ikaw ang bida Velvet nilig, basketball, illegal, 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 illegal Velvet nilig, basketball, illegal, 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 illegal Velvet nilig, basketball, illegal, illegal Come and bounce the ball, ikat sumabay Bibihirang sumablay kahit sumakay Mga money tinangay street ballin Determinado sa laro, we can never fallin Kapag lumay ay parang agila Lakas ng stamina, run malamaki na Kala mo nakakape pagkabarako Kapag sumalaksak, lakat ay inaararo Minolok pa si Steve Nash, diwid ang speed flash Cash out na ang mga boys And here is their last shot for redemption para dito sa Ignite Quezon City. It's the third quarter, Coach Darrell. We have just witnessed probably one of the greatest scoring runs in the short history of Velvet D-League. 40-4, Coach Darrell, to seal away the second quarter of play para sa Doc Boleros. What happened, what transpired, what went wrong, and what went right? First of all, that's the first time on my coverage career na makakita ng ganong kalaking run on a basketball game. And Doc Boleros did well in playing that uh, trapping defense that they have. Yun naman yung magandang nagiging uh, end for Doc Boleros. And they are not wasting any opportunity na pag naagaw nila yung bola, they are all running on the fast break on the transition offense. Hindi sila nagle-let go just letting their teammate to finish the uh, layup. Lagi merong trailer at help sa weak side ng uh, transition offense nila. So if they will continue to do that kind of thing for Doc Boleros, the, get the W is really bright for them. On the other end, for the Ignite Quezon City, they need to defend their basketball really well. Huwag sila masyado mag-commit ng turnover. And then for them to do that, at least they need to have two ball handlers on the playing court para mas maprotektahan pa nila yung bola against this Doc Boleros. They don't need to uh, be on the side kung saan nandun yung trapping defense. Ulit-ulit yung ginagawa ng Doc Boleros to force them to go to the corner of the playing court and the double team will arrive. Kung ikaw yung ball handler, hindi mo nakahayaan dalin dun yung bola because that will be an insanity on your end. Kung pupuntahan mo pa, kung alam mo na kung saan yung uh, trapping area ng Doc Boleros. So probably dish the ball to the middle or give it to the other side of the playing court para magkaroon kayo ng better chance to set up your offense at hindi nyo kailangan madaliin take it one step at a time yung uh, kalamangan ng Doc Boleros na to for you to get back on this game 
and look at that coach there. There was an end one play from Cruz on the other end of the floor, and I thought that could have been the spark plug para dito sa Ignite Quezon City. But then the returning Lau has already answered back with one of uh, one of his own three point plays. And that's one of the problem for the Ignite Quezon City. Iba rin yung naging takbo or flow nitong uh, Doc Boleros if they have Lau at the helm. Cortez. Here comes that quick inbound play once again. Nice footwork. Just couldn't get that to bounce in. 24-61. Ganda sana ng hook shot doon ni Balanque. It's just a really few players na lang nakikita ang nagagawa ng hook shot. But you know that that's one of the most effective shot at really difficult to block na tira sa basketball. Unang-una kasi no, Coach Daryl, naka-extend na ng sobra yung kamay mo. Tapos palayo pa. Dun sa defender mo, and I mean, when you watch the, the old clips, the old highlight clips of the one and only Karim Abdul-Jabbar, you'll see bakit napakahirap block nun, lalo na if you're lengthy, if you're tall, napakahirap talaga. Of course, syempre, in the Philippine basketball, the skyscraper, Marlo Aquino, those yep. players ang pumapasok sa isip ko every time the discussion about skyhook ang nasa nasa sports commentary table. Tama ka dyan. Yung skyhook na yun is really deadly. Isipin mo, may armbar na sa dibdib ng off-defensive player. Malayo pa yung uh, bola Release sa point. defender dahil sa hook shot niya na yun. So, but on the other end, on our playing court now, ang ganda naman ng three-point execution doon para sa Doc Boleros. And that's a traveling call from the referees there. That's Lau. Not nahawakan yung bola sa likod, no? He wasn't probably wasn't expecting Tino, don't coach Darren. Great recovery there for Tino. Hindi siya nag give up after that turnover that they committed. Talagang hinabul niya si Lau, even though it's just what one to three or two to three steps ahead of him. Talagang he never gives up and time for that ball. No easy baskets. Parehong ang moto dito ng Doc Boleros. That's a nice block inside, 64 to 26. They're approaching now a 40-point lead. There is a great attitude that you can see here from Doc Boleros. Even though they are up by a huge margin, they also give a lot of defense against this Ignite Quezon City. That's the one that you can see. Pinapakita nitong si Coach Carlo Pacheco na maganda yung tinuturo niyang attitude sa mga players niya na never give up on the game even though you are up or down. Same intensity ang ipapakita. Here comes Lau. Balang asking for a play here. And the ball was almost stolen away but it will stay in the hands of Doc Boleros. With yep. almost four minutes gone in our third quarter, it's 64 to 28. It's a 36 point lead para dito sa Doc Boleros. You know, it's a telegraph pass yung ginawa doon ni Balangke. Siya mismo yung nagtuturo doon sa teammate niya. O saan siya pupunta at kung kailan niya ipapasa. So it was well read naman for the Quezon City night. And here comes the fast break. Quezon City Ignite, that's... Uh, that's a shot on a rush there, Coach Darrell. Could have taken a better turn for him. And good thing Ortega is there to clean up the board. Yan yung isa sa kailangan gawin itong Ignite Quezon City for them to get back on this game. Run on the transition. First play, a great defense on the other end. Tapos mag-run kayo sa transition. And dun kayo makakabalik for this game. And looks like Doc Boleros is... Having a taste of their own medicine, Dito. What a move there by Lau. Pinoy step at its finest, Coach Darrell. You know, ginagawa na rin yung ganong classing step, even in the NBA. Uh, Halliburton is always doing that kind of layup now, and he is really even calling that Pinoy step. Siya mismo, sinasabi niya na yun. You know, Coach Darrell, that somewhat, some way, no? Uh, of course... In the early 2010s, in the early 2000s rather, Manu Ginobili has uh, popularized the, the Euro step and look at that move! Hindi nga lang pa pasok that time around and there's a player on the floor. And that's the same player na natapilok kanina if I'm not mistaken, Coach Daryl. He's holding on tight into his right ankle again and he is 
He is looking at the medic. That's Medina once again. But now he is holding on his right ankle. Kanina left yung iniinda niya ngayon. It's now the right ankle after that collision that happened. You don't want to see that, Coach Daryl, no? That is one thing that you don't want to see. Both ankles are now down for, for he him. He is even carried out of the playing court. That's not a good sign for Medina. We're really praying that he is okay in here. And we'll be back here at the Velvet D League after this break. And uh, we are back into the ball game now. It's a free throw situation here for Quezon City Ignite. As he misses both free throws, battle for the ball, and there's a foul. Whistled on the rebound play. And I think they are not yet in a penalty here because the Ignite Quezon City is trying to ask for or the yeah Ignite Quezon City is asking for it but it's not a penalty situation at Doc Boleros they still have one more team foul to give and a back to back fouls here three back to back fouls here for Doc Boleros probably they're approaching now the no they are just warning for penalty now clarification okay. in that Cruz with that floater. Minsan lang natin makitang gumamit ng quick first step itong si Cruz. And that's 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 a weird sequence there for both teams. Looks like they were playing hot potato for a minute there. No, it's a hard fall for Manikis. Pero kita mo naman, lumaban pulit pabalik yung bata. He's... Mm -hmm. Stood up right away, and now he's fighting for position at the paint. Although he's holding on to his elbow for a while there, Coach Darrell. Mukhang uh, yung right elbow niya yung naitukod niya on that fall, no? So, elbow, although matigas yan, it's, it's, still, a, it's still a vital body part na, na Sabi nga natin, ang ganitong edad, mararamdaman nila yan. Mamayang hapon pa kung mm. magpapahinga na sila. Pagkatapos ng McDo at Jollibee na yung mararamdaman, <laughs> Coach Darrell. Look at that. And what a block there. But the offensive board just couldn't get that wide open layup to go in. Here comes the break. Ignite loses possession on that one. And dun kaga yung double team for the Doc Boleros. Hindi man yun hard double na pinapakita ng uh, Doc Boleros. Pero may help defender kaga. Lakas dun tira na yun. But there's another offensive rebound here. Lau. Looking for somebody to pass to. He might penetrate himself. Lao, nice drop pass. Hindi nga lang mare receive ng kagandahan. It goes in either oh, way. E even the pass was not catch perfectly there. C Certis is there to clean up that shot. No, ang hirap ng tira. He spins and fades para lang makakreate ng shot on his own. That was blocked upstairs. Pero nakahan check sa hip area, Coach Daryl. And uh, that's one thing that the uh, FIBA rules has been cracking down on for the past years is that yung hand checking you know, maganda na nga na may hand check ngayon for the offensive player to gain better position mas maga 
we understand basketball it's a defense and offense play yan pero mas gusto natin nakakita ng offense instead of defense lagi di ba dun, dun yung fans na nakukuha natin Oh, but if you're doing that hand checking, medyo na limit kasi yung movement ng offensive player. That's why it's a and now it is an illegal defense ang ipinito against Doc Boleros. That's what we call mercy rules here for the Velvet D League. If you are up by a huge margin by 30, you are not allowed to do full court trapping defense anymore. So it's better for you to sprint back in defense and uh, play zone or man-to-man -man defense at the half court. Ang reason naman natin why we have that kind of rule in here for for the other team to gain their confidence back because again, this is a developmental league. You know, we want to develop the skills of everyone and don't uh, take away the uh, confidence for them and even the development as a whole. Pero Coach Darrell, on the other end of the spectrum, makikita mo rin na Nagigil talaga tong Doc Boleros and that they are not bringing down the level of play that they had. No? Although, of course, it's a mistake on their end. Makikita mo, yun pa rin, yung gigil nila na depensahan itong Ignite Quezon City kahit na 38 yung lamang nila. Tama ka, Justin. Gigil, nandun yung gigil as a player for you to play a defense. But if there is a rule written on the uh, league book, Siyempre, kailangan nating sundin yan and you need to maintain your composure kung ano yun dapat mong gawin on the court and it's still a development on their end even though you're up, you need to maintain your composure. Hindi pwedeng puro aggressiveness or puro gigil like what you've said. Ortega now being double teamed the top of the key. Ball almost stolen away but it will be recovered. Number 23, pass inside to the big man. Di nagkaintindihan, di nagkaamuyan eh. Now number 77 being trapped. Manik is underneath, takes the shot and there's a foul. And Manik is taking this game for Ignite Quezon City to another level. Siya yung nagbibigay ng Ignite for mm -hmm. his team. They really need the spark plug dito, no, Coach Darrow? They, they weren't able to trim down the lead dito. But some uh, for, for uh, their convenience sake in the fourth quarter, the way we're looking at it, if if the quarter ends with this huge of a margin, this might be a very, very, very long shot para dito sa Ignite Quezon City to mount a comeback considering the level of play at the intensity of play na nilalaro dito ng Doc Boleros. No, Manikis is a bright factor here for the Ignite Quezon City. Isa ito sa nakikita kung maganda yung potential for this team. You know, aside from the good shoes na meron siya. <laughs> you know, he is wearing a very limited uh, Nike basketball shoes. Actually, that's a 90 shoes na gustong-gusto ko nung bata pa lang ako. That's a Jason Kidd's Bugs Eye na tinatawag namin noon. So, really rare yan. Probably, his parents understand kung ano yung value nung, nung sapatos na yan. That's the reason why he's wearing that now. Baka sa tatay niya pa yung coach tari. Ang laking bata oh, din si Manihigi. So probably they have the uh, same size and shoes. Mali mo naman, coach Daryl. Nasa teenage years din yung tatay niya nung time na kinuha niya yun. Kaya magkasay sila. Pero on the other hand, there's a minute and ten remaining on our third quarter. That shot was met upstairs, not in my house. But it will be recovered. Took the three, not nothing there but the top of the rim. And on the fast break, hindi nga lang makukuha ni Kumilaw yung bola doon. No, great intention on the hand of Lau to take or to have that pass to Kumilaw. But Kumilaw is not ready yet to catch that basketball. Isa to sa kailangan i-develop nitong si Kumilaw if he wants to run the transition offense. Yung hands niya, he needs to, it needs to be active, stronger to catch that basketball. Tama lang naman yung uh, strength ng pasa ni Lau on that possession. Medyo hindi lang ready talaga si Kumilaw. Nahuling nasa spin motion kasi si Kumilaw doon, no, coach. Dahil nakaharap siya sa bola, tapos tumalikod siya. But there's a foul here for Ortega. Two shots on the free throw line as he misses the first or two. This has been the bane of Ignite Quezon City dito, Coach Daryl. The free throw line. They are shooting very low percentages in this ball game. Good thing na convert on that possession itong si uh, Ortega. 40 seconds remaining. Pass it down to the post. Extra pass. 
Lu Lua yung bola. Here comes Ignite Quezon City. They can go for a 2 for one here. But the ball will be stolen away. Here comes Doc Boleros. Ball was stepped down. The pass to Lau. He fires to three. Overcooks it. And there's a foul. Nakitang na nanunulak si Balangge doon. You know, this Ignite Quezon City, kanina nag-commit na naman sila ng another turnover. And the reason of that, dinala na naman ng ball handler nila yung bola. Mm -hmm. On the trapping zone, like what I mentioned earlier before this uh, third period start, if you know the trapping zone already, don't go there. And as a coach, you need to inform also your player or educate them that, you know, try to not to go there mm -hmm. on that area. They are just really playing a decoy defense para mapunta ka doon. But if you know that they are trapping there, then just pass the ball over or find a better way of crossing instead of going on that easier route. And this will be the final possession probably of this quarter as time is running down with six seconds remaining on the game clock for the third quarter play. It's a miss. Final shot. And he didn't realize that there's only a second remaining. At the end of the third quarter, it's 17 to 33. It's a big margin here for Doc Boleros over Ignite Quezon City. We'll be right back for the fourth and final frame. Sumabay, dumakda, tumalon, di na ko Tumitres, tumilay up Nang hindi ka boss Mga moves na pang hoops Ang lupet, smooth na smooth Pasok sa galawang panliga Na ikaw ang bida Velvet nilig, basketball, illegal, legal, legal, legal 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 Ha! Bawal dito ang mahina Dapat lagi kang kumpiyansa kapag tumitira Maging panalo ka dahil lalaro sa liga Di ka papagulang kahit pa napakalakas nila Ipakita mo ang tunay na galing Na di ka pwede dapat na maliitin Kung usapan ay laro dapat halimaw Sintaas ng bola pag hinagis ka kasilaw Tignan mong maigi ang iyong paligid Baka may umagaw, pasa mo sa gilid Titira ng tres, walang sasabay Baba ang lahat, matikto walang sablay Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Sumabay, dumakda, tumalon, di na ko Tumitres, tumitres Lay up nang hindi ka boss Mga moves na pang hoops Ang lupet, smooth na smooth Pasok sa galawang panliga Na ikaw ang bida Velvet nilig, basketball, illegal, legal, legal, legal Velvet nilig, basketball, illegal, legal, legal, legal Velvet nilig, basketball, illegal, legal, legal, legal Velvet nilig It's the fourth quarter of play now in our books, Coach Taro. Last 10 minutes, what can Ignite do to mount up a miracle of a comeback? Now we understand that the window of opportunity to get the double before the Ignite Quezon City is slowly closing down now. But they still have some uh, light in here na naikita for them to get back. And one of it is Madikis. Control that board, muscle down to the paint. And um, as a team, Lagi kong sasabihin, don't go to the trapping zone of Doc Boleros. You know, they are always tend to do that. They are just influencing or trying to encourage the ball handler to go to the trapping zone. That's the right thing to do actually. Yung ginagawa doon itong si number 24 na hindi niya na dinala yung bola kagad dun sa trapping zone. Trying to look for a uh, teammate to pass into. Pero that time, Marco decides to drive inside. So, yun yung sinasabi natin na don't go to the trapping zone. Instead, look for uh, other route. Oh, that's a rare miss there by Espiritu. But Villano will clean it up nonetheless. Ito na yung sad news for Ignite Quezon City. No? Espiritu is now redeployed in the five spot. 
That's a miss there for that teardrop. And it looks like he's caught stepping on the line. But I want to give a kudos now to Ignite Quezon City. That they are now able to find a way on how to disrupt that trapping defense mm -hmm. of Doc Beleros. At least ngayon, they understand na hindi nila kailangan pumunta on the trapping area. At ipasa na lang yung bola and look for another way. And give and go offense there. It goes and result for an easy two points now for Doc Boleros. Approaching the 40-point lead mark here again for Doc Boleros. 74-35 with two minutes gone now in our fourth and final quarter. Ortega attacking the middle. He goes for that layup. No go. Manikis is defended well. Somebody's wide up front. Touchdown. Yes, and there goes the pass. Nice find there by number 21 uh, to free us. That's Garcia with that great pass. Ang ganda din ng recognition to ni Garcia. Uh, nagkaroon siya ng thought na patamain na lang sa opponent niya yung bola uh, for them to gain the possession back. But instead, nakita niya si Frias on the other side of the baseline. And then he dish it out. Ang maganda din dito sa Doc Boleros, you know, they are doing a platoon swap now. But that platoon swap that they are doing is just the same strength na meron mm -hmm. dun sa floor nila. So, halos parehas din yung intensity ng ipapasok na tong si Coach Carlo Pacheco. Coach Carlo Pacheco, a bit upset dun sa motion na yun from his players. No, nakahiga na kasi yung player ng Ignite Quezon City, pero hinab hinabol pa rin nila ng, uh, ng block. And... Free throws are being made now for Ignite Quezon City. That's one sign of life that you want to see. You know, as a 13-year-old big man, Manikis meron siyang soft touch on the free throw air. That's really rare for that age and size. Here comes Molato. Ball was tapped by Lau. At tatama yun sa tuhod niya. Another turnover for Ignite Quezon City. Active hands on the defense and fast feet on the offense. Etong si Lau. Here comes Lau. Calling for a play here. Gives it to the left wing. Posting up. Backdoor shot. No go here. Offensive rebound by Cortez to Lau. The Pinoy step away from the ball. Talawa yung napakagat dun sa fake. Too many passes. Still couldn't get it to go. Rebounded by Molato. Maganda Here comes transition. Maganda okay, sana okay. yung drive and kick offense doon ng Doc Boleros in the previous possession. Every time that they attract the defenders, na nakakita na sila ng uh, help defenders, they are dishing it out to an open man. Talagang nag, hindi lang nila na-convert yung uh, possession na yun, but still a great ball movement overall for them. On the post once again. Tatama yun sa pa ni Mejia. Another turnover for him. Now na yung step ni Mejia before the bounce of the basketball. You know, if you're going to do that post up spin move, I tend to uh, teach to my uh, players na, you know, try to create a space first and then do a uh, spin with a semi, yes, tawag natin chicken wing mm -hmm. <laughs> for you to seal your defender. Or your, yep, that's right, your defender. And Mejia sealed two shots on that play, Coach Darrow. Back-to-back blocks, pero kasama na yung braso dun sa pangalawa. That's why there's somebody on the foul line. Oh, sorry, on the free throw line now. I think that's Cortez. Oh, sorry, that's Cruz rather on the foul line. Yun yung mga classical. Ano, foul line, foul shot. Yun yung mga tawag ng oh. mga um, you know, seasoned veteran na meron tayo sa basketball. And Cruz... This is the first, but sinks the second. Another split opportunity here for Ignite. 76-38. 38-point game. Hindi na nakarecover itong Ignite from that second quarter. Domination by Doc Boleros, Coach Darrell. And it's really difficult to mount up a comeback pagka maganda yung dinidepensa ng opponent mo rin. You know, if, even if you have a better offense, offense, may time na minamalas ang offense like what we always say. Pero hindi nagiging malas ang depensa. Mm. And this time, it's Lau who is saying to us, I also have an offensive arsenal on the fast break. Lau is really shifty, no, Coach. They're really hard to stop considering na 
yung con niya as a player is his height. That's also the pro of this this player. No, his height because of his height. Ang hirap niya habulin. And he's stocky for uh, a 13 year old kid. Kaya niya bumangga and still maintain his balance. Yun yung isa naman sa mga pros niya as a player. And nice defense there, but an offensive rebound will be collected by Ignite. Coach Daryl, itong Ignite, they started first quarter with 18 points. 18 points, Coach Daryl. And almost three quarters have passed now at 40 pa lang sila. That means in all those quarters combined up to this very point, Coach Daryl, 22 points lang yung nagawa nila. Only 4 points more than their first quarter production. That was a great math for you, Justin. <laughs> and we want to give kudos to Doc Boleros because of that. Mahug mo ba naman yung, um, yung opponent mo in just more than 20 points on uh, two to four, three quarters now. Almost three quarters now. Ang ganda ng tinatakbo ng buong koponan nyo kapag ganun nyo papakita. And that's a miss on the three-point line. Another fast break shot here. Sobra nga lang yung layup na yun. Yung Reposo, medyo naging excited si Reposo on that shot na nakita niya. Meron siyang slight opening. And there's a very few time lang na makakita ng ganong look si Reposo. That's a foul and one. A chance here again for Kuz on the free throw line. And he makes three-point play opportunity accepted. 35-point game. Three-pointer on the route. No go. Offensive rebound by Santos. Kick out pass to the three-point line. Attacking the middle now. He's able to collect it back to Cortez. Cortez. An open perimeter. He goes attack. Defense. No go. Marco with the board. Here comes Marco. Attacking. Marco taking the shot. No go. Still no go. And Doc Boleros will control this board this time around. And with the offensive basketball gods is now in the favor mm -hmm. of Ignite Quezon City now. Talagang even open looks, it will just roll over off the rim. Tama ka dyan, no, Coach Darrell. The gods of basketball has smiling down upon Doc Boleros at the moment. They are giving no love to Ignite Quezon City as we speak, no? It's a 37-point game with three minutes, uh, sorry, with two minutes rather remaining in our fourth and final quarter. We already know that the window of opportunity has closed, but we still want to see some effort here from yep. Ignite Quezon City to somehow bring that margin down a bit. No, the, We're talking about the morale now in the long run for the mm. team coach, Darren. Yeah, we know that this is our quarterfinal match already for the Ignite Quezon City. But again, our season 2 will be up next. Meron silang time to prepare and to uh, recalibrate as a team on what are the things that they need to do and who are the players that they need to use next season uh, for them to move on to the next round. But for Doc Boleros, isa sa mahirap na pag-desisyonan dito ngayon sa Doc Boleros is yung best player of the game. <laughs> Pag-iisipan natin maigi ngayon because this team really played well. Wala silang um, isang guy na nag-stand out. It's the whole team who really stand out for this game um, as a whole. Yung defense nila is really clicking and their points of turnover is really magnificent overall. That's the word that can describe their performance today. And there's a timeout whistled here, I think, by Ignite Quezon City. We'll be right back after the short break. Sumabay, dumakda, tumalon, di na ko, tumitres, tumilay up Nang hindi ka boss, mga moves, tapang hoops, ang lupet, smooth as smooth Pasok sa galawang paligan na ikaw ang bida Velvet nilig basketball, legal, 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 legal Velvet nilig basketball, legal, 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 legal Velvet nilig basketball, legal, 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 legal Velvet nilig basketball, legal, 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 legal Ha! 
Bawal dito ang mahina Dapat lagi kang kumpiyansa kapag tumitira Maging panalo ka dalalaro sa liga Di ka papagulang kahit pa napakalakas nila Ipakita mo ang tunay na galing Na di ka pwede da- A minute and 30 remaining now in our fourth and final quarter. There's a foul downstairs. That's one thing that na itinuturo ko for my big man um, specifically. Yung don't swat the ball. You know, it's better for you to try to intimidate the shooter or block it just putting your hands up. Do not, you don't need to swat the ball. If you will swat it, swat it in uh, the direction towards your... Um, teammate instead of you just swatting it for a uh, beautiful block shot ganun din naman you will just get the block shot whatever it takes kung, kung you will just put your hands up but another technical foul in here for Cortez because of our mercy rule mm-hmm. so this is just a simple slip of mind there no coach dahil minsan makakalimutan mo talaga tong mga rule na to kasi it's not a, a core part of basketball ika nga no it's only implemented in developmental leagues so sometimes pag hindi kasi ganito yung setting makakalimutan mo talagang may ganung rule you know especially pag yung bola nasa harap mo nasa na, harap you mo are na. just oh. going to spot the ball in front of your um, opponent in in terms in basketball terms in street basketball terms no coach Daryl binibigay na sa yung candy tatanggihan mo pa ba tama <laughs> pero syempre rules is rules for our mercy rule here um if i'm the coach probably i will just inform the or educate the player na you know if you are up by age mark you just take it easy hindi ko na kailangan pagalitan they did well overall like, you know as a coach you don't want to bring the morale down Baka sabihin naman ng player, Oh, chat na na nung ginawa namin. Ooh, that's ka a, that's <laughs> an ankle, ankle breaker. breaker. And Manikis fell victim to that move. Parang nagkaroon ng skater shoes doon si Manikis. <laughs> Great crossover ang ipinakita from the Idok Bolero side. With a minute and ten remaining, we're approaching the final 70 seconds now of this ball game. We already know the results. Doc Boleros is going home with a W here. It's just a matter of how much points and are they going to bring ulit home. Natin itong Doc Boleros mamaya lang. The next yeah. game, Coach Daryl, actually. It's Doc Boleros once again. And we'll see the fatigue factor that will play in on that ball game. Pero alam mo, Coach Daryl, ang advantage dito ng Doc Boleros is that mainit yung katawan nila. They're all warmed up and already in rhythm. And they have a really deep bench. Hindi naman gumamit si Coach Carlo Pacheco dito na mga players na binabad niya for a long period of time. He is consistently uh, rotating his player every now and then for them to have a proper rest. Pero mainit pa rin moving on to the next game. And that will be it. As they are just dribbling away the time here with five seconds remaining. Three, two, and one. That's 40 minutes of gameplay for you. Doc Boleros stands victorious over Ignite Quezon City. 84 to 54. We'll see you at the break. Dito 
ang mahina Dapat lagi kang kumpiyansa kapag tumitira Maging panalo ka dahil lalaro sa liga Di ka papagulang kahit pa napakalakas nila Ipakita mo ang tunay na galing Na di ka pwede dapat na maliitin Kung usapan ay laro dapat halimaw Sintaas ng bola pag hinagis ka kasilaw Tignan mong maigi ang iyong paligid Baka may umagaw, pasa mo sa gilid Titira ng tres, walang sasabay Baba ang lahat, matikto walang sablay Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Sumabay, tumakda, tumalon, di na ko Tumitres, tumitres Lay up nang hindi ka boss Mga moves na pang hoops Ang lupet, smooth na smooth Pasok sa galawang panligan Na ikaw ang bida Velvet nilig, basketball Legal, 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 legal 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 dito sa laro, di lang puro atake Dapat meron kang diskarte, di pwedeng makasarili Galawang malapro, Jason Williams kung pumasa Double crossover na parang Iverson gumana Iwan ang babantay sa'yo, fake sabay rekta Quick release ang ban at parang sa peri tumira Huwag nga lang pakumpiyansa sa laro, bilog ang bola Manalo sa laban, yan din gusto nilang makuha Ipasa ang bola kapag hindi mo na kaya Buong loob kang magtiwala sa iyong mga kasama Iwasan ang turnover, tanggalin ang iyong kaba Natural lang na mapagkakas Pressure pag dinobol team ka na Sa mga play na ginawa ni coach Tayo ay mag-focus na rin lang mga kalaban Na parang na modo sa ito ay nalang dikdikan to Coast to coast kapag gumana to Champion tayo, tayo ang magtutoast Sumabay, tumakda, tumalon, di na ko Tumitres, tumilay up nang hindi ka boss Mga moves na pang hoops, ang lupet, smooth na smooth Pasok sa galawang panligan na ikaw ang bida Velvet nilig, basketball, legal, 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 legal Velvet nilig, basketball, legal, 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 legal Velvet nilig, basketball, legal, legal Come and bounce the ball, ikat sumabay Bibihirang sumablay kahit sumakay Mga manity na ngay street ballin Determinado sa laro, we can never fallin Kapag lumaya parang agila And we're back here in Velvet D-League Basketball Kasama ko dito ang best player of the game na si Julian Villano Julian, dikit yung laban ng first quarter Pero bigla kayong lumayo ng second quarter 40 to 4 ang score ng second quarter Anong naging game plan nyo? Ano po, sinabi po ni Coach sa amin na first quarter po parang hindi po masyado tumodo Tapos second quarter po parang pinasa na po yung lima kami po Tapos sino po, pag bawal po kumalma eh, kaya po natambakan po talaga Ayun na po Julian, maglalaro ulit kayo next game, pagod ka ba? Hindi naman po, hindi naman po masyado pinasa ni Coach nung fourth quarter kasi namang naman ako Eh Julian, since ikaw player of the game, batiin mo na po sa lamatan yung mga gusto mong batiin Pinabati ko po si... Doc Renz ang team owner namin at saka binabati ko po yung family ko kay mama at saka kay sa lolo at lola ko at saka shout out kay Altea Julian, thank you. We'll see you on the floor again next game. Galingan at mag-ingat palagi. When we return, it's the semi-finals now of the under-13 division. So don't go anywhere because when we return, it's a head-on clash between All-Star Hoops and Doc Boleros. Sumabay, tumakda, tumalon, di na ko Tumitres, tumilay up, nang hindi ka boss Mga moves na pang hoops, ang lupet, smooth na smooth Pasok sa galawang paligan na ikaw ang bida Velvet nilig, basketball, illegal, legal, legal, legal 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 Ha! Bawal dito ang mahina Dapat lagi kang kumpiyansa kapag tumitira Maging panalo ka dahil lalaro sa liga Di ka papagulang kahit pa napakalakas nila Ipakita mo ang tunay na galing Na di ka pwede dapat na maliitin Kung usapan ay laro dapat halimaw Sintaas ng bola pag hinagis ka kasilaw Tignan mong maigi ang iyong paligid Baka may umagaw, pasa mo sa gilid Titira ng tres, walang sasabay Baba ang lahat, matikto walang sablay Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Dapat bola, 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 bola is life Sumabay, tumakda, tumalon, di na ko Tumitres, tumilay up, nang hindi ka boss Mga moves na pang hoops, ang lupet, smooth na smooth Pasok sa galawang paligan na ikaw ang bida Velvet nilig, basketball, illegal, legal, legal, legal 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 Dito 
sa laro Di lang puro atake Dapat meron kang diskarte Di pwedeng makasarili Galawang malapro Jason Williams kung pumasa Double crossover na parang Iverson gumana Iwan ang babantay sa'yo Fake sabay rekta Quick release ang ban at parang sa Perry tumira Huwag nga lang pakumpiyansa sa laro Bilog ang bola Manalo sa laban yan din gusto nilang makuha Ipasa ang bola kapag hindi mo na kaya Buong loob kang magtiwala sa iyong mga kasama Iwasan ang turnover Tanggalin ang iyong kaba Natural lang na ma-pressure Pag dinobol team ka na Sa mga play na ginawa ni coach Tayo ay mag-focus na rin lang mga kalaban Na parang na modus Ay to ay nalang dikdikan to Coast to coast Kapag gumana to champion tayo Tayo ang magtutoast Sumabay, gumakda, tumalon, dinako Tumitres, lumilay up Nang hindi ka boss Mga moves na pang-hoops Ang lupets, smooth as smooth Pasok sa galawang paligan Na ikaw ang pangalaman